I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof You know that I'm a keep it Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's video is a get it all done with me. I have got a ton of motivation here. There's cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, decluttering, organizing, and I've even got some baking in here because I am making a cake for um, a couple of friends' birthdays. They both have the same birthday, so I get to make one cake for both, which is really nice, um, but yeah. I just needed to put a load into the washer to get that going and now I'm starting in my bedroom just to kick it off really quick. Okay, moving on to the living room. Um, both the living room and my bedroom don't take very long to clean. They maybe take five minutes at the most each. It really depends on what I'm doing in each of the rooms. But um, one of the reasons why I like to do that is because I am a huge procrastinator, like so big. And... Um, to me, in my brain, like when I finish a room and then my brain kind of, I feel like it restarts itself. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you're restarting brand new, but it only takes you a little bit to do it. So with the kitchen taking as long as it does, I feel like um, 10 minutes into cleaning, if I do the other two rooms first, I'm like, bam, got two rooms knocked out. Whereas if I started with the kitchen first, then... I want to stop after I'm done <laughs> like once I'm done cleaning the kitchen I don't want to do anything else so um, I don't know are you guys like me do you like to do the easier stuff first and then tackle the big one um, you know the big room or the big project whatever it is or do you like getting the things that take the longest um, out of the way Talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what? What's going on? Don't waste your time being all alone Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, 
Get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit it's song because it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you All right, so you may notice that I have butter and cream cheese laying out on the counter. That is because I need it to soften. I, like I said earlier in the video, I am making a cake and I need those out and um, getting soft so that I can make some frosting and some buttercream. So just wanted to let you know that <laughs> I'm leaving those out so they can soften so I can do something with it. I'm not just forgetting about it and leaving it there. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness And all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
right, so now I need to clean, declutter, and organize this closet. This is one of our hall closets, and um, I gotta say, it's become kind of like a dumping ground. I just shove things in there lately, um, especially after Christmas, because that's where I've kind of put like all the wrapping paper and bags and things like that. So. Um, every time we open the door things would fall out <laughs> and I'm really embarrassed by it but it happens you know you get busy and sometimes you just don't want to deal with it and with me personally if it's out of sight it's out of mind and I don't think about it so with the door always being closed yeah and then one day I opened it and I was like yikes I need to get this done so this is a little clean de declutter and organize for you getting this done and um, first thing I want to do is take the majority of the stuff out. Some of this stuff is going to stay where it's at so I don't need to take it fully out but I wanted to take the stuff that was just kind of thrown in there and try to get that organized so I can put it back and it all looks nice and decluttered and clean. All right, we are moving right along. I had um, a load of, of laundry done. It finally got out of the washer, into the dryer, and now it is dry so I can start putting it away. And I just needed a couple more minutes for the butter and the cream cheese to soften up. So I decided to start doing this laundry while I can. I'm giving you some laundry motivation. And if you're not doing laundry with me right now, you better be cleaning with me, <laughs> or at least I hope you're getting the motivation to get up and clean with me. Um, but I did about half of this basket, and then I went to go check on the butter and the cream cheese, and they were perfect. So I stopped what I was doing and moved on to getting this cake completed and built. Now, this is a cake that I have never made before. Honestly, I... Um, was very surprised about how it came out. I am in no means, absolutely not a professional. I did actually go to culinary school to bake, so I do know a little bit, and I do have, I guess, some skills, but my skill level is definitely not where it should be with how long ago I went to culinary school for the sole reason that um, I have not made cakes regularly for the past few years so um, you know it's kind of like you have to relearn things you have to reteach yourself how to do things and that 
that kind of stuff. I really only make cakes for friends and family, not on a professional level. I don't sell them, nothing. So um, I do not consider myself a professional baker. And um, again, my skill level is definitely not where I think it should be for that. Um, for instance, a little bit later in a couple of minutes, you'll see this cake actually leans. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but um, it turned out really great. I was very impressed with myself because this was the first time I've, I had ever made a cake like this. Um, basically what I'm doing here is I have two flavors of cake. The top half is a cheesecake flavor and the bottom half is a cinnamon roll in order to make the cinnamon roll flavor um, good. I just made a vanilla cake with a little bit of cinnamon in it and then I made a cinnamon glaze to put on top of the cake to have it kind of soak in and then I honestly just used uh, cream cheese uh, buttercream cream cheese frosting um, for the entire cake because you can use cream cheese frosting on cinnamon rolls I think it's delicious <laughs> um, the top half with it being um, cheesecake flavor I made a um, just a regular yellow cake and I put in um, cheesecake flavoring and the um, the cheesecake powdered pudding mix and I added that to the batter so it tasted like cheesecake and then of course the frosting helps bring out all that flavor too. So just in case you wanted to know how what flavors they were and how I did that, that's just what I did. And once they were all stacked, I had to carve it and you can see there it's leaning a little bit, but I carved it to the, the best of my abilities and um, then you have to frost it. And I frosted it a couple times. I frosted it once as like a crumb coat so that the crumbs could kind of get stuck to it. And then I frosted it a second time to try to hide the crumbs as best as possible um, so that when I put modeling chocolate on it, um, it wouldn't show through as much. And I did use modeling chocolate this time around rather than fondant. Um, I don't know why I think I just I looked up how to make a barrel cake I think because again I had never made this before I found one single video on YouTube where a woman made a barrel cake and I pretty much just copied her technique and how she did it and I'm glad I did because it actually turned out really well so yeah just please enjoy <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm just putting piping gel on the top so I could put um, brown modeling chocolate over there on the top because it's, you know, kind of like the ends of the barrel. Um, and then again, kind of copying what the woman in the other YouTube video did. I will try to 
link that video down below too just in case you wanted to know i don't know who she is she has no idea who i am i just saw it and thought that the way that she did it seemed simple enough for me so um but yeah i will tr see if i can find that video again and if i'm able to i'll link it down in the description box just in case you wanted to check that out but um i put the end there and with piping gel and then I'm going through with one of the tools. I don't even know what this tool is called, <laughs> but um, I'm going through it um, and just kind of marking different panels. So it looks like there's multiple panels of wood on the cake and I'm going through and like I said, I'm copying kind of what she did. She used an airbrush. I don't have an airbrush machine. So I just used um, food coloring, my paintbrush, and um, vodka. And I know what you're thinking, vodka on a cake. First of all, no kids ate this cake. Um, and even if there were kids to eat it, it is technically safe for them to eat it. It really depends on how you are as a parent. But I will say, the reason why you use vodka for food coloring when you're painting is because um, when you get you have to make the food coloring especially a gel food coloring liquid enough so that you can actually paint it onto the cake but then the alcohol evaporates so by the time you actually eat it or serve it there is no alcohol on the cake um so i just want to point that out but um yeah you could use lemon juice but lemon juice does not dry as fast as vodka does so um, as you saw there, I, I did, there. that was the outcome, and I used um, ivory color first, and then a warm brown, and then I put spots of black, and then I went over with a regular brown on top of that, um, and the color came out perfect. I was really surprised at how it came out, honestly. I surprised myself. Um, so the color came out really great, and here I'm making the metal strips that kind of um I get, or the metal bands that go around the barrel um so i'm using again brown modeling chocolate and then i grabbed black luster dust and put random spots into in just random places and then i grabbed silver luster dust and went over the top so that the black wasn't so i guess sharp on the edges it kind of looks like it blended because having that old rusted look on a barrel i think is a really good look so um that's what you see me doing here and you will see the end result in and how the cake turned out in just a bit
okay and here is the end result it turned out great i think the stuff next to it and on top made the cake pop even more um like i said it's definitely not perfect i would not consider myself a professional baker in any kind of way but i really love how it came out so um but i just need to finish this laundry this was at the very end of the night because that cake took forever but um yes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got some motivation out of it, whether it be clean, declutter, and organize motivation, um, laundry motivation, or cleaning motivation to clean with me. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not already and make sure you also have your notification bell turned on so you won't miss anything else. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.